Hey guys, it's Vlad. Thank you so much for visiting the channel one more time. Today, we're at Sublimation 101. We're gonna learn everything we can about sublimation and the products they offer here. So come on, follow me inside. Let's go check them out. Let's see what they got to offer. Can't wait. Hi guys, let's welcome Michael Kaminsky, CEO of Sublimation 101 to the show. Hope you guys are having a great time. How's it going, Michael? Very good, thank you for having me. I know. Thank you for uh, allowing us to be here. We have something for that. Yeah. So, <laughs> how did you uh, get into sublimation? I started in sublimation with a gentleman, Sam Kendis, back in the 90s. We call him Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam was the founder of the computer portrait system. This is going back before anybody had computers and printers in their house. This is when, if you recall, the guy in the mall with the camera, putting your picture on the wanted poster, putting you next to Ronald Reagan and he's not there, you on the beach, all that green screen as we know it today goes back to the early, late 80s, early 90s. This was actually a business. People would buy a computer portrait system travel to fairs and festivals all over all summer all over the united states and put photos on mugs and shirts technology was a lot different but you have to recollect back to this time you me everybody seeing yourself on tv was like oh my god i'm on tv today it's not as because of technology right. as overwhelming as as totally happy but it, yeah, it goes back to 1977 he awesome. actually started. So how does Sublimation 101 help uh, its clients? Like, what do you guys offer? Tell us a little bit about the company. I've been in the industry for 20 plus years, I learned a lot. First thing I learned was my end finishers are number one. Because without the end finisher, there's no us. 100%. There is no totally us. Agree. I found that over my years, I found training. Training was the key factor in this business. So we started making videos of the how-tos and then we incorporated a live program. Not only that, because a lot of people can do that. We built the largest and only sublimation training facility and display facility in the industry. We've got people that come from all over around the world to our events, to no events, knowing they can come here and get trained comfortably. Because later you'll see what I'm talking about, but it's just a very unique building we have. Well, on a side note, um, so I think we met last year at the MBM show, M NBA show? MBM. MBM show. Secaucus. Uh, yeah, in yeah. Secaucus, a little more than a year ago. Yeah. Right, so I was just getting into the printing business and decided that I needed to go to the show to see what's out there. Um, I heard of Sublimation because actually years ago I used to do that green screen work. Okay, so, so, yeah. so I came from the entertainment industry and we did that stuff years ago. With a ribbon printer? Uh, with, uh, my time actually was already ink gen, I think. Okay, we yeah, go back we're, to we're talking ribbon. like in the big early 2005 okay, the millennium. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it was way worse beforehand. <laughs> I'm sure it was way worse. Um, so you were one of the few sublimation vendors that were there at that time and really what stood out to me was when I came to see you, you said to me, I said, I don't know anything about sublimation. You said, don't worry. Buy the printer, call me Monday. You're gonna come down to our office. You're in Jersey, right? I said, yeah, I'm in Jersey. You're gonna come down to my office. We're gonna teach you everything. So that's exactly what I did. I bought a printer, I bought some stuff. I came down here and I learned, for the most part, what I needed to learn to be able to print my first things. So I'm living proof that your system does work. Thank so you. thank you. So I wouldn't be where I am today. Thank you very much. Wasn't That's for cool. your help. Thank you. I appreciate that. So I like to say that you guys are small enough to care, but large enough to support the industry. I would thank you. That's With a big great compliment. customer service. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, be hard on that. Them. That's one thing I'm very retentive on yes. is our customer care. Yes. Everybody has and my I'll cell agree phone number. First hand that you everybody you guys has always my cell answer. number. Call me anytime. Awesome. Three rules when you call me. Don't tell me you hate to bother me. Don't tell me you're, uh, you have a dumb question. Don't ask me if I'm busy. I'm not gonna say my age, 
But I'm old enough to tell you if all three of those are fine. <laughs> Promise. One last question. What do you think the overall market for sublimation products is in today's day and age? Sub you said it yourself. Sublimation came a long way. It used to be a niche, fun item back in the day. It was mainly photos. Putting your photo, a photo is the hardest thing to reproduce in sublimation because all flesh tones are different. Back in the day, if you were able to reproduce a flesh tone, everything else was smooth sailing. Now, today with Vector and JPEG and Corel and Photoshop, things differ now. But back then was a lot of photos. Photo on a shirt, photo on a mug, photo on a pillow, photo on an ornament. Photos. photos on everything. Photos on everything. Which it's still the it's photo. Still it's the... the photo gifting business. Right. That's what it originally. <laughs> sublimation wasn't called sublimation printing business. It was called the photo gifting business. And the key factor about it was, we, the end finishers, can do it instantly. Right. That was the thrill. Seeing yourself on that TV, watching that print come out, watching a man put a mug in a machine, then taking it out. We we used to have to scrape them back then to get air bubbles out put it back in, take it back out, put it in water and peel it and their photo was there. It was a thrill of a lifetime. Right. It was a thrill, okay? What happened was the market expanded. Everybody got creative. Um, a lot of overseas companies got creative. We opened up to the promotional ad specialty fundraiser specialty gift business now. Right. So we just took the Photo gift business, now we are the ad specialty promotional fundraising photo gift business. You can do it so all. You can from do it all. One to one million. On, yeah. So it doesn't matter if you're working from home or if you have a large facility where you service you know, major everything corporations. Works, you everything can do, works the same. The technology to the what you said, it's the same if I'm working in my basement or a Fortune 1000 company. And we're going to show everybody. Cool. It's a heat press, a printer, paper, and knowledge. Father time is the thing, we'll go over that later, cool. but you can do it. And nobody should ever be afraid to go after the big guy, because we all know 100%. somebody. 100%. I believe today's world is more of the referral system and the review system. Um, I think a lot of people go by that today, especially with the economy the way it is right sure. now and everything going on in our world. I think referrals are about, it used to be 50%, I'm gonna say referrals are about 85 to 90% of business today. I agree. Trust. I agree. I, yeah, trust. Because now with technology, you're able to go online and Google, you know, anything. Custom printed mugs. You'll get a thousand uh, websites to come up that offer custom printed mugs. Do you know if they're good? If they're not good, you have no clue. I mean, you can read the reviews, but somebody telling you, hey, I got this mug printed at so and so, right. and they did a great job, and you can actually see it, that's a lot better. And then then you don't know whose hands it can go into. Right. That's why I always tell everybody, put a little sticker on the box in your packaging. For more information, a white sticker with black lettering, very simple. Sure. For more information about this product, contact maybe your website, your phone number, sure. whatever. Keep it very simple. Don't overwhelm the product. 100%. You're standing, it shows that you stand behind your product. 100%. Because your name is on it. 100%. And that's loud and proud. That's I just totally my opinion. Agree. I totally agree. Thanks. So awesome. Um, I think let's jump into maybe making some products and showing off. My favorite thing, baby. Yeah, and showing Close off the script. <laughs> See you guys soon. We'll let's right go, back. guys. Hey, guys. So we're back. Michael, tell us a little bit about the most hottest products, uh, I guess, of 2020. With everything going on, I know that a bunch of people know what these products are going to be. So why don't you I walk us em. through it? I got them. Got I'm ready. Here we go. Guys, ladies. Facial gator cover, you can wear it around your neck. You can put it up, it rains, you're protected. It comes with all different instructions on what you can actually use this product oh, for. Yeah. It is sublimatable. It's all made of 100% poly performance material, machine washable, color safe bleach. Guarantee the colors, um, custom again, instantly. Initials, logos. If you notice, the way we do our materials too is we have a nice clean seam at the end. So that way you don't get, if you you're don't doing get that full, line, you don't get a line. So That's really nice. Nice and clean, they Very line nice. up. They line up nice and clean. We don't want that white line to show. This is a professional product you're making to your end finisher and you want to give them quality to come back. Awesome. And what's no. that thing around your neck? 
This is in case business goes bad. Well, no. <laughs> other than that, other than that. Other than no. Actually, this is one of our newer products. This has been around for a while. It's a lunch. simple lanyard, self yeah. lanyard. But cool. this, this is, I was like thrilled with this. Okay? You know and I know, not everybody's gonna lug a big hand sanitizer 100%. around. You can't leave it out in the heat. The no. alcohol will evaporate. Sure, it goes it's just, Exactly. 100%. Well, this is for a keychain, but I figured, you know what? I can hook my lanyard. Sure. Instead of putting it on my car key, always have it on my neck. Mine is a little different. Mine has a car logo, but it's got a cover on it, as you see right here, and it stores your hand sanitizer. Oh, awesome. Very simple. Comes with the bottle, which makes it a lot easier for everybody. And awesome. Give a squirt, and there you there's go. your instant hand sanitizer. Uh, we'll even give something out there. So, can never be too safe. Can never can be too safe. So basically, so very that's convenient. what it is. Very convenient, very easy. I mean, again, not everybody's going to wear it on the lanyard. Some 100%. Like, like I probably would have wear it on a lanyard, but it, put it well, around my keys. See, like I'm going into a, a car event this Saturday. I will have it on my land because you want to buy it because I'm yes. walking around. Makes sense. So it's got its purpose. Maybe go down to the beach, the 100%. shore. It's good for travel. One hundred percent. It's great for travel. Awesome. That's my opinion. So are we going to make some of these today? Of course we are. So you let's know, get into anybody it. Anybody that knows me, Vlad, and knows you, we love to make stuff. There you go. This particular item comes to you in the cover, the keychain, and the bottle. What's great is you can put the bottle inside empty and then put your label on the back. This would be your front because the fold for this packaging is in the back. A lot of our product, I can't speak for any other companies, we give you good packaging. We want you to repackage it professional. Sure. Um, some people I was told uh, you could take the ring off, you could take the ring on. I like to take the ring off. Gives you a little you bit a, of a cleaner print. Yep, and also I have a gap here that I'm not worried. What you do have to worry though, when you're working with product like this, is product that is that is made with PVC. PVC okay. will melt. Of course, yeah. And then you'll never be able to get the ring back through. Makes sense. And then what's gonna happen is this whole thing is gonna seal. Right. And then there's gonna be no gap to put your cover in, and right. you just lost it all. So you gotta be careful, especially with these kind of products, depending upon whom you're working with. Okay. So I took the liberty of printing out a, a print, very simple size right here. Sure. I'm just going to simply line it up. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll cut off my excess mm -hmm. right here. But you know what a key thing is in making these is when you line it up and you cut your paper, okay. you always want to have that sweet spot. So when I do the other side, I know when I cut the second sheet to leave that much of a gappage. So it. it has an even flow with a pattern. Got it. On both yeah, sides. With patterns, yes. You always want to do that lineup. You awesome. never want to rush. Take your time. Heat tape is the best. I know some people use spray tack. In my opinion, it's a con item. It's um, You could actually go to Walmart and buy light tack spray for a fraction of the cost. Of the cost of. Yeah. Always lay parchment paper down because you always want to protect your Teflon. You never want to get the residue, especially when you get a bunch of people that are working. And if there's a residue on there and he went to put a shirt on, that residue that you're going to see on the paper will be on the back of his shirt sure. and that becomes a ruined item. So we always want to work smarter and not harder. Pretty standard, 400 degrees for 45 seconds. Okay. And when it comes out, it's going to be a little warm, so you're just going to take it right off. I would use my Teflon parchment cover as my workstation to make it a lot easier for you guys. Waiting is always the hardest it's the part. It's the hardest part. <laughs> it's like, <gasps> is it done? Is it done? And this is the Hicks S650? Yes, it is. You guys sell these here? Yes, I do. Okay, awesome. I sell do Hicks, you... Stoles, and Geo9. Oh, wow. So you sell a room. lot of, of the American presses. All of them. Which yes. are, in my opinion, a lot better made than a lot of the imported presses. But it doesn't matter what kind of press you have. As long as the temperature reads accurate, you'll get a good... and your pressure is good. What happens is, and Val, you know what you said? You almost, I'm going to be honest with you, you almost wanted to contradict yourself with kind of what you said, but don't. You know why? Because you're 100% correct. First of all, U.S. presses, they give you a lifetime warranty sure. on the heating element. Overseas presses, most of them they buy are 30-day to 90-day warranties. So we're just learning to sublimate, never mind take a heat press apart to repair it. Right. So you are right. American made is a stronger heat I, press. I completely agree it's because I bought an import press value. and then, you know, eight months later, bought a Geonite press. Uh, and then look back. Yeah, because I need it, because the import press started to not function the way I needed it to. 
anymore. Well, I also found on import presses, depending upon the country of origin, that the different metals, metal is different from every country. Over time, it bows. Given uneven pressure, I've seen a couple in my life. Yeah, I personally. mean, I didn't have mine long enough for I guess that to happen. But, but I've seen it bow, yeah. and it happened. Probably somebody that's going to be watching this, and he knows who he is. He he'll even do it. We did it here, and there's a little trick to testing the pressure on your press. Is simply putting a dollar bill in there. Sure, and seeing if you can pull see it out. See if you can pull it out. We're gonna lock that down for side two. Very easy to make, guys. You got your packaging ready. Notice I didn't worry about my ring, my packaging, or my bottle. Okay? Leave that to the side. That's not what I'm sublimating, and it has nothing to do with the production of the product. That's why when you stay focused on the product, you'll get a perfect product every time. The accessories to it are the add-ons. Of course. You know, that's our opinion. We're gonna open that up, guys. Now, this is why we have the parchment paper on, so I'm gonna take it off and show you slowly. It is hot, guys, so be yep. careful taking it off. Just take it off and let it cool yeah. right down. Of course. Now I got a clean work area. This is the residue we were talking about. If you didn't have parchment paper down, this gas would still be on this. Because it's had a place to sublimate to and solid, turn back to a solid during the chemistry of liquid, solid, gas, solid, it went back. On the Teflon, because we know Teflon repels, it would stay as a gas and you probably wouldn't see it to the eye. Cool. So that one Just was pretty much finished. Just to give you guys a close up of how this looks, perfect, both sides. Really nice, and then you just pop the ring back pop in. Pop the ring right back in. Cool. Got a nice clean seam up top. So now, if you wanted to sell this filled with sanitizer, is I, that- I personally that wouldn't get involved in that. Got it. Okay, You open I yourself up to certain issues, possibly. You can, you know, because some people don't want the hand sanitizer, even though we know we need the alcohol right now to kill right. germs, but some people get an allergic reaction to alcohol. Like sure. I get dry skin. Got it. I get dry skin if I use too much. So I use Got wipes. It. Got it. But I always carry sanitizer just in case. But for the most part, in this day and age, everybody has sanitizer. So you just fill it up, stick it in your pouch, and you're good to go. Good to go. Awesome. Put the ring right back on. Nice. Done. <laughs> Slides right in. I had a lady today that just, she was screaming. She had bought 50 and she ordered another 100. That's it, you're done. Awesome. Simple. Now we're gonna make the matching gator. Now, if you caught on to what I'm doing right now, me and Vlad, we're turning up our DPT and our MSR in our business. Yes. Our dollar per transaction and our multiple sales ratio. By adding three items as a bundle, my MSR is higher which in result will give you a higher dollar per transaction. Correct. 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 And that's the way, sure. you know, it should be done showing your skills in what we do. Of course. And you cannot limit yourself. Easiest thing to make in the world, a gator. This, again, one of the easiest. Awesome. So, what we're gonna do here is, again, it comes with the packaging. I personally would try to keep this packaging, especially for the instructions on it. I'm just gonna open it up for us right now, guys, if you don't mind, New York style. So, give it a little shake for any excess lengths, sure. any excess uh, materials will come right off. You're simply gonna print two 13 by 19 nice sheets of paper. Okay. Lay them down on your press. Now remember, people say, oh, it's longer. It is longer, but remember, these roll, right. if any, you know, with garments. So you're gonna have, you're gonna have the roll. So if that's the way you feel, I would stay focused on my top like you see. You're gonna get yourself a three to four pieces of heat tape to hold it in place. Okay. Okay, I like to do the sides and I also hit the tops up. Awesome. This way it stays clean on here, yep. <coughs> so I personally like to use uh, tape when I sublimate even when I do my mask these days I tape them down with a lot of people just placing the transfers on top uh, I feel I feel like I'm gonna get a more consistent transfer uh, That way and it's just my personal opinion, but I, I think, couldn't agree with you more actually because yeah. you're holding it in place and securing it, right? You don't want to put somebody's If we could spin the camera, I would show you. Oh, we can yeah, yeah we can spin totally the camera for example, the little child on there. If we cut off the head, 
where it's not proportioned on that heart, it wouldn't look right. Right. And so forth. The gentleman in the background, you can see him with the glasses. Even me. If you cut anything off like that, that can become a no sale. Sure. That's why for a couple of pennies for the piece of tape, it's well worth, worth it. protecting. Right, 100% agree. Just like this, the crystal. If you cut my head off the top, nobody's going to buy it. Do you it becomes a sample. While that's heating up, do you remember crystals when you had to put the glue and shave it? And ah, you're laughing because you remember. Those were not fun days. But it, that's it, how far I go back. And I'm a young guy. I'm only 35. I've been doing this a long time. I'm 51, I'll tell everybody. Awesome. That's my front. Now, it is warm, so I'm going to set it down for a second. Sure. Right over here. I'm going to remove my... Yeah. Really nice. Put it right over. Remember, your sublimation paper is garbage. The minute it comes out of the machine, the paper is garbage. Yeah. Don't treat the paper precious. Once you close your heat press, remember what I said. The paper now became garbage. You want a nice lineup again? Sure. Remember, you want to stay even, mm -hmm. giving them, you know, quality product. So by you having this line right here, there's your lineup point. Right. So line up everything nice and even and make it look pretty. Cool. Smoothen it out. You can touch it. It's yeah. dry. Yeah, we yeah. all know it's dry. So we're just going to simply do that. We're going to take a couple pieces of tape again. If you notice, I'm probably using about a half inch to an inch. To hold it down. Yep. But you know what I sometimes do, you'll laugh, is I clip it to the counter to reuse it sometimes. You can. Of course you can. Listen, I think that for anybody who's selling sublimation products retail, there's quite a bit of margin in it where you can afford to use a few extra pieces of tape or make your image slightly bigger so you don't get just because to protect what happens, you. yeah if you don't if you go to sublimate it and you went a little small because you didn't want to use that much ink and now you have a white line on the edge you just wasted that product and it's ended up costing you more money it so does. and you have a bad sample and you, have a bad <laughs> you sample, don't even have a right? good sample that's the worst part I'll, <laughs> oh no big deal i'll use it as a sample you go to show that to somebody they're going to say Wow, this is the quality of the work these people do. There's white showing. I don't want it. So if you're going to do samples, I would suggest using really good samples. So as this heats up, now, because you have the white, you said there was some curling. But yeah. you can easily... No, that material, what it does naturally is curls. that naturally curls the polyester. But if you really wanted to, take a you scissor and cut off that cut extra half inch, no big deal. I would just leave it, but yeah. yes, you can. It's a tucking spot, as right. you could say, too. Side number two is done. Awesome. That paper's garbage. We yes, chuck it. it. Is. Cool it down. Got a nice color on it. Nice. And yeah, you don't see the white. Let me spin around. I'll show everybody. Yeah. Really nice. And try to catch this crease right here. You don't see any white. That's kind of the biggest thing, right? Is you don't want to see any white that on the is. sides. So it's really nice. Thank you. I'm going to make sure that I take some of those today. When well, I head back to the shop, we'll have to play with it. those. And that's how we make our supplies. Nice. Thank you. Very, very nice. Cool. So we're going to do a lanyard or Let's we're... Let's do it. I mean, if we're here, we're we here. might as well, right? Look at that. Happen to have it. Awesome. Bam! That's how good we are. Guys, I took a 13 by 19 and I cut four... I made four strips on one sheet to do my lanyard. Perfect. There's one. Prepare myself. Always prep your work. So one Don't cut inside. one. Yep. Don't cut one and start. Have them cut. Have them neat. And go with your workflow. Now, if somebody watching doesn't have a 13 by 19 uh, capability, uh, thinking what I would do then is I would do small sections of the lanyard. Got it. With the print. And just try to line it up to best of their line, It's going to be a little more time consuming. But again, when you're selling a three-piece set like this for forty nine ninety nine, okay, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Your answer set. Get the bypass okay. tray. Go to thirteen by nineteen. Your answer set. And don't look back. Okay. Got it. Your answer will all we out of here was okay. Makes sense. Lay it down. Okay. Smooth and out your lanyard like so. Okay. Pick it up and flip it over. 
and lock it down. That's Easy. how simple. We're gonna repeat it Easy. four times. Okay. Go section to section in, turn it around Got inside it. out, and you're done. Same way. Lab Stick your, the hoop back through it and there it is. And be done with it. And again, it. another product that does not have PVC on the ending, so you don't so have to worry about burning that end clip in there. Cool. That's the key nice. factor. There's product out there that you will actually, if it does not, if it gets exposed into the heat press, it will lock and it will just. Right, you won't through. be able to get into no, it. No, it won't work. So I hope you guys were able to learn a lot about sublimation today and sublimation 101. We're going to take a tour of the facility. We're not going anywhere. Um, so we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Be right back. How did that come out? Side one is done. Cool. So we'll finish the rest of this off camera. We'll see you guys soon. So we're back for the completed product. This we have nice. our sanitizer case. We have our matching lanyard and matching neck gaiter. The colors really pop. Honestly, I love it. Uh, I'm not a personal fan of cheetah print because that might be a little weird, but um, so I guess this one's out then. <laughs> I mean, for my wife, she'd probably wear it. No problem. But oh no, but this is just. It's just a great ensemble. It's a great sound yeah. for Etsy, for marketing place, for uh, social media. Sure. The combo set, it's just unique. 100%. And I'll tell you something, I went to and I started laughing. For the guys, I mean. For the guys. Keep it Corvette right in your fans, car. Yeah. Yep, Corvette fan, whatever fan. And uh, basically, again, Yeah. back to our original. Well, Squirt. Go. Squirt. Close in my pocket. I'm done. Awesome. I'm protected. Well, I think that was awesome. Thank uh, you. Let's walk around, show us around a little bit. Guys, right now you are in the flat press training center of Sublimation 101. You'll notice that every room we have has a giant TV. So what we do is we have a classroom, but it's right now being occupied. We sit you stadium style. When you come in for your training, you watch us right on the big screen. You get hands-on training. Anybody that's been here before knows we always have a lot of fun. Come on, I'm gonna show you guys a little more too. We have some awesome. other stuff. Welcome to the Sublimation 101 Mug Press Vacuum Press Training Center. This is where you, the end finisher, come in and learn how to use your 3D vacuum press. You come in and learn how to make mugs. We show you everything we have to offer. We have, you know something, Vlad, you think about drinkables. When I got in this business, there was two cups. There was a standard 11 ounce and a standard 15 ounce white. And that was it. Now I've got over a hundred drinkables. Wow. Double wall tumblers, stainless steel, ceramic, metal, aluminum. Awesome. Yeah, you can. It's amazing. You can do it's almost anything amazing. these days, which is great. Thanks, and again, awesome. we have you in here stadium style and you enjoy what we offer you. Well, I mean, now with everything going on, I'm sure it's been a little tougher and, you know, soon. a lot of it has come soon. to videos and stuff like that, but it's not the same. But soon things hopefully will go back to normal I can't and wait. you guys can have people back in here and no. can't wait till you do so I, I can come by. They're screaming to come. I'm sure they're they're screaming. Are. I'm sure they're I remember this room from the first time after <laughs> I bought my printer. I literally sat at that desk and learned how to use it. So... I'm oh, living proof. Funny. I it's it's, 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 it's true. So it's true. I literally sat at that desk and learned myself. So I'm, I'm the proof. The legend lives. The proof is legend in the pudding, lives. right? What do they say? Proof is in the pudding. The legend know. lives. You awesome, put every guys. cliche you want, but it works. It does. Come on, guys. I want to show you some more with Vlad. Awesome. and I see this. This is what sublimation is all about. 
having everything shipped direct to your business, to your house, to your store, from Branchburg, New Jersey, the same day it's ordered. Thank you guys. Come on in, I'm gonna show you the office. Welcome to Sublimation 101 headquarters. Vlad, you've been up here I've before. I've been up here a few times, yes. We keep, we take our orders here. This is the president of Sublimation 101. This is Hi. Martha Ray. How are you doing? She's doing her thing as Hi. always. Yes. Well, as you see, she keeps her sublimation all over the office too. We love what we do. Awesome. Come on, we're going to show you a little more. This is where, uh, whenever I get stuff, and I'm always testing, it goes into this little pile in my office. So this would be testing things. You don't have to show it too much, but I get my view of my favorite view. Of the warehouse. I love to see my warehouse. I got my little wall of fame. I've sublimated plaques. We were talking about that, Vlad. Yeah. I make my own when I go to a show. Okay. And have famous people sign them and hang them on the wall of fame. Oh, that's awesome. This is our client care specialist area. Some people are out to lunch right now. We have Scott and Sharon, who everybody knows, who headed up okay. for us. Sharon's also our graphic artist designer. Right. Scotty takes care of all of our international and overseas shipping. And this is what Sublimation 101 has to offer you. I want to thank you guys. I want to thank Vlad. I want to thank the crew out there for ha having me today. Thank you so much for having Very us. Very much appreciated. Um, Very it was much. a pleasure being here. Don't go far because I got a place in order because I have a ton of sublimated stuff that I need to pick up since I'm here. Can you guys hear me in this mask? I hope so. <laughs> no, it's, <Make> not. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Thank you. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to ask each and every one of you, if you'd like this video, please hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we have a ton more sublimated content coming out real soon. Thank you guys once again. And I hope to see you again. See you guys soon. Remember, stop the bomb, hug your mom, keep on sublimated, and we're all in this together. See you guys later. Be good.